everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really well and staying safe. My goodness, it has been a really long time since I have sat down and put my face in front of the camera. Um, it must be a couple of months now and um, yeah, it feels good to be back. It is a lovely day here today in Norfolk. The sun is shining so I thought I would seize the good lighting and come and do a video for you. The year is flying by. I cannot believe we are already in October. It's my birthday month, so it's my favourite month of the year, obviously. And with the coming of October, we go into a season of changes. We are going into the amazing season of autumn. And I just love autumn. I love the orangey, um, sort of deep red brown tones that come with it and when that change happens in the season and outside I like to also bring that into my home. So over the past few weeks I have made a couple of purchases, autumnal ones, I literally love that word, autumnal, such a good word. And I thought as a nice easy way to come back into creating YouTube content for you all, I would share a autumnal haul and talk you through some pieces that I have purchased. Um, one thing which has been gifted to me, which is literally the most amazing thing you will ever see for autumnal decor. And then I just thought I would show you where I have styled them throughout my home. As always, I will link all of the products in the description box below for you if you would like to shop anything. So without further ado, let's get into this autumnal haul. So first up, I thought I would show you these little pumpkins that I purchased. These are concrete pumpkins and they are just, they're lovely, they're really sweet. They came in different sizes. I opted, I think, for the medium size and then for the smaller size. I got a couple of these. They are already kind of around the house in different places, but I just pinched these two off the shelves to show you. Um, I really like them, they've got lovely details on the top as well and although they're only out for a short time each year I do believe that they are timeless and um, yeah, I just really like them. I also bought um, some other ones which do pretty much look the same. These ones were from a different shop. Again, I will link these all below. And um, they're slightly bigger and heavier, um, but I really, again, I liked the shape and the style, and I just love the concrete at the moment. I think this kind of um, unfinished look is really popular, and it will just stay in fashion for quite a long time within the house. So. Yeah, I picked up a number of these as well and um, I will be styling them up with something else that I'm going to show you next. So up next is this absolutely amazing, let's say, wreath. Look at that. Um, it's really hard to actually fit it in to the camera, but um, I will do some close-ups of it at the end of the video. But this is from Balsam Hill. It was very kindly gifted to me. It is their harvest wreath, I believe, and it's just beautiful. It's got these lovely big um, sunflowers on it that have got a lovely red autumnal colour, and these sort of faux pumpkins everywhere, and berries, and twigs, and pine cones, and just everything you could ever um, desire on a wreath. It also has this beautiful ribbon here as well. I love the hessian texture of it with the gold glitter. I think it adds a lovely sparkle. Um, I haven't dared to put this on my door um, just because it's so beautiful and it's also got a good price tag on it so I don't want anyone to pinch it. I wasn't actually on YouTube last Christmas and so I never actually got to tell you the story about what happened to my wreath last Christmas. Basically it got blown off the door and then someone picked it up and took it home <laughs> and um, so every so this year I'm 
planning on making sure I've got a really good hook and it's tied on really well but um, it will be a cheap wreath on the door on the outside and then any luxury items like this will be staying indoors with me where I can enjoy them. So I'll now just do a kind of close up of this so you can see it a little bit more in all its glory. Next up is this lovely vase. Um, I went on a trip the other day to Cambridge and then on to Bury St Edmunds where me and my friend went to Neptune for the first time. If you haven't ever been to Neptune or heard of Neptune, I suggest checking them out if you love homeware, especially like luxury homeware because they have some really beautiful pieces. Um, and while we were there, I spotted this vase and I just fell in love with it. I love a vase. I don't think you can ever go wrong with them. This one has a beautiful kind of crackled effect on it. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but it's got this lovely, lovely crackle and then obviously these um, grooves that go down it. I just absolutely loved it and I knew as soon as I saw it that I had to bring it home and that it would go perfectly um, in the dining area in the kitchen. The colour's not white, it's more of an off-white and it just will look so lovely in there. And obviously a vase can never be without some flowers. And I had actually already bought a bouquet of dried stems. And so I knew that I was gonna put those inside them. And these dried stems look like this. I purchased these from my local florist. I get asked quite a lot where I get my dried stems from. And I do find if you have a local florist that stock them, that they are the best price. This whole bouquet of dried stems cost me £20 and I absolutely love it. I'll have a go at trying to tell you what the pieces are in it if you would like to then shop anything elsewhere. Unfortunately, um, my local florists don't do deliveries outside of Norfolk or anything like that, so um, yeah, you can't really shop this one online. But it has got some pampas. We've got three sprays of pampas in there. A beautiful dried hydrangea right there in the middle. These little guys are called bunny tails. How sweet are they? And then there's like some dried lavender poked in as well, which gives it a kind of, it gives it a really nice effect. Um, I actually don't know what the rest is called, I'm afraid. But yeah, they're all dried and they will last forever, which I love. I think sometimes you spend so much money on a bouquet of flowers and it only lasts a week or 10 days. So having a dried bouquet is um, is just so lovely because like I say, it will last forever. And yeah, these just simply go into my new vase and it all looks so beautiful there together. I love it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna style these up around the house and then I will just talk you through how I have styled them and give you some close-ups and things like that of them in and around the house.
that brings us to the end of this autumnal video. I really hope you have all enjoyed it. I will be working really hard to create some new content for you. We have got so many exciting things coming up. We've obviously got um, Christmas is a huge thing that's on the horizon. And also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know that actually we have recently sold our house and we are moving fingers crossed before Christmas so I will be sharing that with you all as well and hopefully I can kind of start putting together some content where I can show you the new house and things like that but otherwise head over to my Instagram because there is so much about that over there and I will put my Instagram handle here for you but in the meantime, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all again very soon. Take care. Bye.